So guys, I have a pleasure to interview Natasha Woodford and she runs her own agency, which is not a digital marketing agency actually, that's a recruiting agency. Absolutely. So tell me about your agency, what you do exactly, how do you Okay. help actually digital marketing agencies. Yeah, thanks Alex. So um, it is a digital marketing recruitment agency and we recruit for brands and agencies, but we only recruit digital marketing jobs and we do that throughout the UK and overseas. Very cool. So what, what, what are the most common requests that you receive? What kind of um, the most interesting maybe okay. jobs that you ever so search for? So they change massively. It depends on the season. It depends on oh, the really? employer. Absolutely. So paid search. What and the kind of season Christmas. jobs you have? So paid search. Um, the impact of paid search dramatically increases in the build up to Christmas, say, or for the oh. travel industry, it's seasonality with the holidays. Um, Never thought about this. It's really interesting. Um, and then the brands versus the agencies, um, there obviously has been a, a huge upsurge of paid search skills generally, but also building up tech SEO skills um, and analytics. Analytics has been massive, the demand for real data people. Very cool. So, by the way, about your journey of development, your professional interest, <laughs> your LinkedIn page, tell that you began your working career as a sales assistant? Kind of, yep. Kind so of. I worked in the hotel industry as sales for hotels once upon a time, way back when. Um, but I found out I love people. Um, so eventually I discovered that actually there was a profession where you could work with people every day. Um, and that was called recruitment. So my job now is recruiting for people um, and making their next career move a great move. Um, as well as for employers, making sure that people who, um, who join their companies are really passionate and enthusiastic about what they do. How do you check if a person really fits a particular, I don't know, position or even a company? Because it's also about culture yep. inside a company and you need to be sure that even if a person has a great set of skills, yep. also personality means a lot. How do they fit? Absolutely. Yep. So we do a lot of screening, um, so for us it's not a numbers game, it's more about um, the quality of the fit for the individual. Um, we do a lot of pre-screening and then present a short list. And we're screening not just for the technical skills, but we're screening also for behavioral, cultural mm. fit. Um, it, it depends on the type of company as to what we find um, that we're supposed to be looking for. And we try to get to know them. If you look on our website, you can see a lot of reviews from the past projects that we've done about the questions that we ask. It goes a lot deeper than just a job spec. Yeah, I mean, like, it's always about, like, people keep telling you that it shouldn't be just a job, but it happens. Yeah. Yep. So, well, I mean, like, do you, like, you know, filter out uh, those that just seeking for just a job or you oh, just yeah. give them, you just, oh, you yeah, know, yeah when filter we... them out uh, automatically, <laughs> let's say. Not automatically, um, so okay, everything no. we do is personalized. Um, but when we put an advert out, we get hundreds of applications. Mm. Um, and we go through those applications, not just for the quality of the CV, but we're actually talking to the people and finding out their experience, their ambitions, um, a bit about their personality so and their fit. So there's a personal interview. Absolutely. And you do it via Skype or how do you? We, we've done one whole hiring recently completely online. Um, uh -huh. The employer and the employee never met until oh. the first day. Um, that's quite unusual. They were traveling around the world. Um, I guess it's a bit like digital nomads. Ah, um, it was a walk remote. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Um, but also we do a lot of pre-screening. So it's usually over the telephone or we meet them at conferences like this, whether mm -hmm. it's Brighton SEO, a physical conference, or Digital Olympus and it's online. You get to know the network and you get Thanks to Thanks for shout out. Thank well, you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate <That's> right. it. <laughs> Uh, it's all about networking and yeah, because definitely. we only do the digital marketing industry we get to know our people really well and a lot of it goes through recommendation and referral yeah i think personal recommendation especially Huge. mean a lot Massive. yeah my absolutely spot. yeah I, I know a few candidates that i wouldn't recommend <laughs> at any point but you know i'm not going to tell that unless someone will ask so absolutely that's, that's kind of so, a rule and in, in recruitment, there are lots of rules um, and it's all about being ethical and moral. Yeah. Um, we're not looking to do anyone a disjustice, but what we are looking for is to find the perfect fit. We call it finding utopia. Some people call it finding the unicorn. Um, but for us as a recruitment agency, we really specialize. We only do digital marketing roles all the way through the different channels. 
Um, but for me, it's a bit personal because not only do I have a headhunting background, but I've got two brothers who work in digital as well. So oh, we're a little bit... this is very personal thing. Absolutely. So we know it's so important to find the right people. They've got to be best practice. They've got to be ahead of the game. Um, they've got to really drill down on the technical skills, let alone be wanting to be ahead of the curve. So coming to conferences like this. And by the way, talking about skills, yep. if... Um, I were a job seeker who really wanted to find a new job. So in digital marketing industry, what skills uh, should I master and why? Wow, okay. So it depends which part of the industry you're coming up in. Um, you know, are you more creative? Are you more analytical? Um, we tend to find the analytical mm -hmm. people are on the paid search side. Mm -hmm. uh, we tend to find the creative people on content and SEO. Mm -hmm. It's always good to get certifications if you can. Um, you can even get certifications on the paid tools. SEM Rush does one, for example. Um, Google Analytics, absolutely. Uh, inbound. AdWords, everybody, yeah, you can HubSpot get certified. Also, yeah. It's not essential, but it does help. It differentiates yeah. you from everyone else. Oh yeah, it's definitely helpful. But do you think like, you know, talking about if you have a proven set of skills, I mean like you've already justified by working somewhere. So do you really need those certificates? You don't need them. Um, I'm, I'm saying, you know, of the hundreds and thousands of applications for a job, mm -hmm. if one is certified and one is not, you would tend to think, okay, they both do the same job, they both look the same, but one is certified and one's not. It could give okay. an employer an indication, but it's not essential you get mm -hmm. certifications. It is more about, can you use the tools? Uh -huh. Can you use the paid versions of the tools? That's where it becomes exciting. Yeah, it's all about, you know, just to find what you do Absolutely. in reality. And like, if you have those certificates, I would like, you know, I just try to imagine a situation when I have two candidates and one has one has certificate and another one no. So yeah, definitely. If, I would, if they're both yeah. equally yeah, experienced. Yeah, 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 it's about equality and if you yeah. just know. Can How do you differentiate yourself yeah. from everyone else? Well, you can get certified. You know, if you have a master's degree, mm. okay, you know the theory, but have you put it into practice? Yeah. That, that's where the debate begins. Yeah. So I have a personal question about oh. your dog because oh. it's adorable. Oh, thank you. So, uh, well, it, it's a team member, right? Yes, absolutely. He's the head of Dogatel. Yeah, it's a top one. So how, uh, so w w what is the current responsibilities of your dog? What is the responsibilities of the dog? Yeah. Well, he's a canine companion, so okay. he's an office dog. Um, he has a pretty big Instagram and Twitter following. Um, you can look him up. He's one of the Clockwork Talent team members. Oh, he um, is like an, an influencer. Absolutely. He has friends out there. He knows what he's talking about. He is digital marketing through and through. Um, but actually, you know, he is very loyal. Um, he adds a lot of excitement into the office and he's always trying to keep ahead. He really so is. So he, he's like really motivating people. Absolutely. I think everybody deserves to have an office dog. Yes. Thank we should you. do that. Absolutely. So guys, what you need to do, just try to... Hello! <laughs> you need to find just a dog who's going oh. to comfort <laughs> your team members and just like, you know, making them feel that they are really loved at this place. Absolutely. Play. Anything, that, you know, uh, working dog is an amazing dog. He's a spaniel um, and he adores spaniel. everybody. I mean, he's everyone's best friend. So you know what to do now. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Natasha. Thank, thank you, you very much. We yeah, appreciate no, it. a pleasure. <laughs> thank you.